Welcome back to Investigate Joe Rogan, the podcast where I fact check and investigate things said on the Joe Rogan experience. Today I'm actually going back in time a little bit and investigating episode 1551 with Paul Saladino. You may not even really remember this episode because it was sort of a while ago and it wasn't that popular. But this is the guy who says you should only eat meat. And yes, his name is literally Salad. You you can't make this stuff up. You really can't. And the reason I'm just putting this episode out now is because this episode came out just before the Kanye episode and the Alex Jones episode. So I was working on it, I was researching, investigating, And then I just sort of put it on pause in order to put out the Kanye and Alex Jones episodes faster, which didn't really work out either because those episodes ended up taking forever. But I figure better late than never since I'd already done all the research. And I just really enjoyed this episode and how ridiculous it was. So hopefully you will all enjoy learning about something you hopefully already know, which is that you should probably not only eat meat. The first thing he talks about, which seems to be a big part of his argument behind the carnivore diet, is this idea that eating plants creates free radicals in your body, which is bad. The exact opposite of this is true in reality. Free radicals are bad, and they are something your body produces on its own, There are, however, some things that can cause your body to make more of them, but eating vegetables is not one of those things. Those things include smoking, drinking alcohol, and exposing yourself to toxic chemicals. Eating vegetables that have antioxidants in them can actually help keep free radicals in check, since antioxidants are the natural enemies of free radicals. So if you're worried about free radicals, You should actually eat more vegetables, not less. He has this totally backwards. I'm not even sure how this guy passed medical school. This isn't some sort of obscure thing. took me about five seconds to look this up. He is similarly completely wrong about broccoli. He says chewing broccoli releases sulforaphane, which is toxic and bad for you. It is true that broccoli releases sulforaphane when you chew it, but this is actually a good thing. There's no evidence that sulforaphane has bad side effects, but there is some research that suggests it could have a lot of positive side effects. It might make you less likely to get diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. And those are some some pretty big killers right there that would be nice to avoid. He also says that there are no nutrients in plants that you cannot also find in meat. This is not true either. Flavonoids, the most common antioxidant, cannot be found in meat or organs, but are in basically every plant food. They may reduce your risk of heart disease and improve brain health and function. Although, of course, if you want to improve your brain function, you can also just pop some alpha brain pills since we all know those are totally real. Meat also does not have dietary fiber, which reduces your risk for heart disease and colon cancer. Salad Main also says that just 10 milligrams of vitamin C is enough to prevent scurvy. Rogan suggests that while that may be true, it wouldn't be optimal for your health. Salad Man says it really doesn't matter since nobody knows how much vitamin C you should get. While it is true that there's no universally agreed upon exact number, nobody thinks that getting as little as 10 milligrams of vitamin C a day is healthy. WHO recommends 45 milligrams a day, and the National Academy of Sciences recommends 90 milligrams a day. Salad Man is clearly just downplaying this because it's harder to get on his meme diet. And Rogan obviously disagrees with this because of his weird thing where he gets like an IV drip of vitamin C, which he has discussed in other episodes. So he's very invested in the magic healing powers of vitamin C. Later on, they continue to talk about animal organs, of course, 
And Rogan says that foie gras, which is that duck liver dish, is illegal in California. However, the ban on foie gras that the state of California had was actually lifted in July of this year, and the dish can now be imported from outside of the state of California, inside the California, and served in restaurants. Also, apparently while the ban was still in effect, there were restaurants that would sort of get around it by saying that they were giving it to people for free as a complimentary gift. So you would buy something else on the menu that would be way marked up, and then the chef would come out and give you fagua for free as a gift for being such a good customer. So <laughs> that was pretty funny. Maybe if Rogan becomes aware of this, he will return to the state of California. Because maybe that's why he left, you know? He said it was because of looting, but it could have been because of duck livers. It also could have been because of income tax. In this episode, they also talk about something which has come up in various other episodes of JRE that I have discussed, which is the issue of whether or not the grass-fed beef model can be scaled up. Salad Man says that the grass-fed beef model could be scaled up, since the part of the process where they give cows grain really just comes at the end, and all cows are mostly grass-fed. So he says that by simply using land currently used for grain that will go to cows, for cows directly, you could scale this whole thing up. This could be true, however, this ignores the fact that grain finishing makes the cows significantly bigger and thus creates significantly more meat. So in order to meet current beef consumption levels with a grass-fed model, you would need more total cows and thus you would need more total land, and he does not take this into account. Rogan, later on in the episode, blames America's health problems on agriculture subsidies. And he says these subsidies happened because during World War I and World War II, they were worried that there wouldn't be enough food to go around. And this is not true. It was actually part of the New Deal intended to help poor farmers and the general development of rural areas. Back then, remember, rural was pretty rural. It was not... I have an F-150 and an internet connection type rural. Another one of Salad Man's big food theories is that vegetable oil is responsible for the increase in chronic diseases. And he supports this with a graph that ironically shows that while vegetable oil consumption has indeed increased along with chronic disease, so has meat consumption. (laughs) So actually, he he probably should stop bringing up this graph for his own sake. But it is possible that vegetable oil or meat consumption could be the cause of this rise in chronic disease phenomenon, but most people don't think that this is the case. Most people agree that there there are two big causes of this. One, obesity. We got a lot of fatties around now. And obesity is a direct big cause of chronic disease. And also, people simply live longer now. And the older you are, the more likely you are to get a chronic disease. So there's just way more people in, say, their 80s now. And so there's just more people with chronic diseases. We know these things have definitely increased and definitely caused chronic disease. So it sort of beats out this vegetable oil correlational explanation Although he himself admits that it's correlational, so it's not like he's making some sort of really wacky claim here. Uh, After this, he basically just shills for his supplement company for a while, which I don't have a problem with. It's uh, it's why people go on Jerry to sell things a lot of the times. Well, pretty much all the time. But despite the fact that I think most of what this guy said is just totally wrong, I enjoyed this episode. I don't want you guys to get the impression that (laughs) <laughs> that I didn't like this, because I actually, this is probably one of my favorite recent episodes of JRE. There's something very funny to me about two adult men 
sitting down and having a serious conversation about whether or not eating vegetables is safe and saying things like, I've experimented with fruit. I also enjoyed the fact that he called veganism a meme, despite promoting a diet which is even weirder and even more of a meme than veganism is. I really just thought this was a good episode, and so I wanted to cover it even though I'm pretty late to the game here. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to tell your friends about Investigate Joe Rogan. And be sure to eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs>